Hi guys, I'm Marty Kaur and we are having a pretty big wedding for Naven and Summer. It's actually nice to have a two weeks break between episodes sometimes because I miss it and I feel like playing a lot more. Especially if it's a family like the Genesis where we will actually probably have a child, at least one in this episode. Um, Naven and Summer are still very young. Uh, this is actually the moment when they just came back from college. Some are not graduating, but still they are both 22. Uh, that's pretty young to get married, I guess, but... This is actually the perfect day to do it, and Summer already lives with us. They've been together forever, pretty much. So let's just do it. Is there music here? Is there like a speaker somewhere outside? That would be nice, I guess, to just have like a white one here. Oh yeah, I can't really place it here uh, without move objects because technically there's nothing to support it which doesn't make any sense because it's a hanging speaker. <laughs> it doesn't need floor, it needs a wall. So let's have some music and maybe I will actually turn... Uh, no, no, it's not eating time, Naven. <laughs> First get married, then eat, dance and everything. That's how weddings work. And I will actually enable music in my game. Please, let's get pop. I love the pop station. I also love the oldies. No, okay, let's get the oldies. Oh, man. Yes! Party time! Yeah! <laughs> also, I have the same thing with music, that I, I take a lot of breaks in listening to Sims 2 music, or Sims music in general, because I have it disabled in all of my games due to uh, recording and editing videos. Um, so when I listen to it, actually, when I enable it from time to time, I'm like, yeah, that's the stuff. Uh, Jihoon, hi. You were not invited, but yeah, sure. You just got the same suit as Richard here, and uh, you think you can just barge in like that? only be Oh no, it's actually not the same suit, it's just similar. <laughs> the repository project loves to give this um, brown skirt to every woman. Uh, this might be a different color. No, that's just light. Because Chloe has the same one and also Carol has the same one. Where's Carol? Because of course Brandy, not Brandy, Brittany uh, is, <laughs> I sometimes call her Brandy. Um, there was a Brandy here, but that's not her. That was like three generations ago. Uh, oh, uh, yeah, obvi. Obvi. Yeah, so Carol has the same skirt as well. The, the brown one with the cut. Maybe it's just a fashion trend. Yeah, we can treat it like that. Oh, Vera is sitting right at the front. I think um, Holton and Brittany should be sitting here on these two closest chairs, but yeah, that's fine. Are you guys even coming? Holton, where are you? Oh my god. You're the parents! Well, also Summer's parents could be sitting here as well. Uh, Autumn is here and Ryan is probably bowling or not. Oh my god, I, I just keep looking for people on these <laughs> parties. No, I can't see the guy. Wait, maybe in the garage? Oh uh, yeah, he's just talking to John. Yeah, cool. Your daughter is getting married at this, th this very minute, dude. Can you please at least take a look? Take a glance. Yay! <laughs> oh, Jesus. What? Oh, yeah, they are trying to sit on the chairs that are taken. Um, I knew there wasn't enough chairs because there's just only so much space in this garden, okay? Okay, call to meal. If there isn't enough for everyone, we will just get a cake. Um, Autumn... <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think she's shy, even though she is a romance sim. <laughs> oh my god. No, no one is being, be, being cheated on, so she is just mortified because people are being romantic with each other. Cake time. Ah, 
I gave a white tux to Naven because no one in the Genesee family actually had a white tux uh, on their wedding uh, because we didn't have any in the in our wardrobe. That, that was the first one I bought that was actually a tux in the white color. So yeah, so I thought that was it, it was time. Well, people actually didn't finish their salmon. Holton, you can eat that actually. Oh, no. Okay, never mind. <laughs> they are pretty young, so I think with the child will um, wait for a bit, like two days, three days maybe. Um, maybe I will try to wait for summer to actually have a want for that. Um, and I think for those days they won't really work, especially summer, because I don't want summer to have um, a job before or she has a child because she will have plenty of days off and that's kind of annoying especially in a family where Naven will be a stay-at-home dad and he will be with the kids um, so at first maybe Naven will have a job uh, in the police or something there was a context like that and Summer will just be unemployed until she has a child and then she'll go to work and he will stop going to work. Uh, yeah, the, this there will be kind of like a rotation here. So let's just say that Summer is kind of struggling with finding a job because she's a college dropout. She never graduated, she was expelled. Hmm, she is pretty serious for a popularity sim. I think I might give her family a secondary. Does she have? No, she doesn't have a secondary. I think family is perfect for her. Uh, because she is even more compatible with Naven now. His secondary is nothing. Okay. Um, I would go with popularity, actually. Or maybe not, because he is very serious. Uh, but he is also very outgoing and nice. So I think we could go for that. Because all, other than that, I would have to go for... Um, knowledge, I guess, uh, and they would be so compatible if they had, uh, like, the same aspirations just reversed, you know? Roof Razor, obviously. Okay, enough of the music, and let me think about this aspiration situation. He kind of feels like a knowledge sim, because he was always very passionate about music. Uh, he's going for a woohoo, I think to his bed no no what wait <laughs> okay okay um i was supposed to change his pa, pa, pa. okay enough of the music i was supposed to change his uh <laughs> bedroom so that it's good for two people this is tanny's room and done okay i will allow this woohoo in tanny's Bedroom. Let's just say that it's for the thrill. Penny, who's hungry after the wedding? Oh my god. It only takes for them to have 50% of hunger and, and the servos are just crazy about cooking. And Summer needs to eat something after. Ooh. They both need to eat for the robots to stop doing stupid things. Penny, stop it. Holton just cleaned up all of them. All of the servings. Apparently they were all bitten at least a little bit. I can also see that Summer has a baby want. So let's log that. Penny, oh my god. Naven, eat something. Okay, I will spawn the... Of course he broke it. Uh, the career adjuster to... Uh, get him into the law enforcement for a bit. Wait. Patrol officer, perfect. Oh wait, they have the same bed as Holton and, and, and Brittany. Uh, fortunately, I didn't give them the same end tables at least. It's a really comfortable bed and I have recolors, so I love using it. Tenny actually has a pretty cheap bed, it's like mediocre, I guess. Yes, Penny, you can do this. Just don't cook anymore. Oh my god, this setting. Is the same in both of those rooms. No, I need to change that. That doesn't... What? That looks stupid. Almost the entire arrangement of the room is the same. And that's because I can only place the bed here because there is a huge ass window in here. Um, I could get it 
on the other side, but uh, I couldn't have the end tables on both sides then. I could also get it uh, from here to here, this way, but yeah, I could do that. But, but it's just so perfect on this wall. I guess I will change Tenny's room and maybe give him a different bed. Just so that the room is at least different. Okay, I think that's a little bit better. Looks perfect. Uh, today Naven is going, tomorrow he's going, and on Wednesday he has the day off, so we don't have to rush it too much to quit his job. Uh, he will probably, it's possible that he will get a promotion in between somewhere, so um, it probably won't be that perfect, but for now it looks really good. <laughs> Actually, now that I think about it, I guess we can have two kids in a row maybe not year by year but like with a two-year gap between them i hardly ever have kids with such a little age gap so we could do that and then have a little bit of a break and after summer has a job uh, after some time we can have more kids i think they will have like five of them well, the rest of the kids will have to wait until the elders die because they w there will be no more space for them. I'm kind of sick of making up new names that don't exist, honestly. So I will think about maybe getting them names that refer more to Summer's side of the family. Her mom's name is Autumn, her name is Summer, so maybe I could use months to name the babies, like April or Maya or June. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, if it's a boy, it's a bit more tricky, I guess, but there could be a boy named June or April, right? Actually, January is a Polish name. January is a Polish name. Uh, so the moment I learned how this month is called in English, I was like, that's a name. <laughs> Especially that there's this really famous voice actor, uh, January Brunov, so that's how I even knew that this name existed, because it would be in the like credits of cartoons and everything. So in honor of being Polish, I could name a boy January. Although in English it sounds really stupid. <laughs> Actually, I think we might try for the first one right now. They are 24, they will be 25 when the baby is born. Uh, and then the next day, it's Naven's day off, and that would be the moment when he quits his job. Because when Summer is pregnant, he still can go to work. They both want it, so I don't feel like it's forced. Oh wait, August is a nice name for a boy. This is also a Polish name. <laughs> Yeah, it sounds more like a name in English. And August is in summer. And we can call him Gus. You know what, Penny? You do whatever you want. I will just place this here. Defeated. Oh, wait. I didn't hear the sound of baby making. Okay, we need to, we need to go back. Once again, please. Because I was talking about the name and I totally forgot. Ah, Jesus, do I have to use the microwave from Inseminator? Do we have to? I know infertility is no joke, but this is a game. <laughs> There's like 80% chance. Oh my god. No, maybe not 80, maybe like 70, I don't know. But it usually happens. Guys, come on. We have a plan. Let's stick to the plan, okay? I mean, that's probably better that she will give birth in the morning. The, the baby arrives, he quits his job, it's perfect. Just in time. You just have to make the baby. God damn it. Okay, that does it. Let's get the microwave. Yes, inside the bookcase. That's great. Have baby with. Uh, wait, what? No, have random. I don't want to determine if it's twins or not. Uh, have random with Nave and Genesee. Thank you. And go pee. No one can use the fridge, actually, but at least Penny is not cooking like crazy. And let's block it again. Wait, what is Summer's one true hobby? I don't know. Let's search. She is quite active and also nice. I think it's possible that it's fitness, but I don't think it is. Okay, since you're not super pregnant yet, you're not even bumpy pregnant. 
Let's get you on a treadmill. No? Okay. No, that, that's not safe for you right now. Let's just stop it. She is really nice, so maybe it's tinkering, actually. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Obvi. <laughs> yeah, even the calculator is showing me tinkering for her uh, based on interest, so I will not be changing that for her. Um... Yeah, I, I, I'm wondering what kind of job she will have in the future. I, I don't know if I calculated that already. I should definitely take notes. Politics and slacker is pretty high for her. But also music would be good. So either of the three, I guess. Her lifetime want... Oh, it's actually to become a professional party guest. Yeah, for a popularity sin, that's actually pretty cool. Even though the game doesn't actually associate that with the popularity aspiration. So I, mu I, I must have changed that for her. Summer slacker with an exclamation mark or politics or music. John will be in music. I think he already is, maybe. Uh, so music is like, nah, not really. Mu there's too much music. She has creativity, logic, and some cooking and charisma. Logic and creativity and a little bit of charisma would be good for a political career. So we'll see, because creativity is also good for slacker. So whatever comes first. It would actually be pretty cool if she was a politician. I don't think there is a politician. Every island needs a politician. And let's be real, you don't have to have a college degree to be a politician. <laughs> well, even more to be a slacker. What's the difference anyway? Relative gets engaged. What kind of relative do you still have that could get engaged? That would have to be on Amania's side somewhere. Like John, for example, but that's such a far family that you wouldn't even... This wouldn't even fulfill this want for you if he got engaged, so... I'm sorry, but that's not happening. Oh, I'm kind of relieved that Naven didn't get a promotion because I would be like, yeah, thanks for the appreciation of my work and the bonus, but I quit. Goodbye forever. Oh, wait! Wait! Teddy is not engaged! <laughs> His brother could get engaged and that would fulfill this want. <laughs> Jesus, I completely forgot. <laughs> because Teddy is so old. <laughs> he was engaged once though. Yeah, because I am pretty sure that they only get those wants if there is actually a relative available to do it. I don't think Sims get wants to get a grandchild, for example, if they don't have kids themselves. Right? Because in this game, wants actually make sense. Penny, you can actually sleep in Tenny's bed because you guys are in love. Okay, I'm freeing the fridge because Summer needs to eat something during the night. In the middle of the night. Penny, don't even think about it. Who's laughing at 4 a.m.? Oh my god, Tenny. <laughs> oh, because Penny got up and they probably cuddled and everything. You know what? Just go to sleep. I have a mod that allows you to do that. I love mods. Oh, we don't really have that much food anymore. It's just one page. That's progress. Okay, answer the phone. And call work. Okay, you can do that too. Quit job. Yes. Thank you, honey. <laughs> I mean, she will still be unemployed for quite a while, but they don't have to worry about money at all. He can just be there for the kids along with her um, until she gives birth to the second one. They will need extra hands, okay? Oh, okay. I will save it. Even though I don't really mind any gender or anything, but I would like the kid to not have crazy recessive genes. I'd like for them to have children that really resemble of them. So if the kid comes out brown-haired or something, I will just re-roll it. So it is a boy that is actually born in summer. And he was in summer for quite some time. So I think it will actually be August. Just don't slip him away, okay? Into a moment in time. Because he was never yours. <laughs> That doesn't rhyme! <laughs> oh, he has brown hair, actually. Okay, no, no, I got too excited. <laughs> but if it's a boy, it will be August. If it's a girl, I think she will be named June. Oh, Jesus, black hair? Where from? 
Brittany somehow? Oh, okay, she has a brown recessive from her father, but Naven has a black recessive from his mother. Okay, I won't really pay that much attention to eye color, I guess, because I can already see that it's gonna be hard. Okay, it's a blonde boy. That's even better because A is yellow, so an A name is perfect for him. He has green eyes. Summer has brown and Naven has... Oh, his eyes are so small that I don't really know. Um, wait, uh, bl blue? Yeah, dark blue. Yeah, green eyes are fine. I don't want to re-roll the birth 50 times, so... But I can see us lost in the memory. August slipped away into a moment in time. Cause it was never mine. Of course she gave birth in the smallest room in this house. She had to. We don't really have that much of a room for this baby, but I think we can turn this into a baby room and just get most of the stuff into this room, into like the workshop or whatever. And we don't really need another computer, so... Uh, and it's broken. I don't think I um, replaced it. Maybe someone fixed it? No, it's still broken, so let's just sell it. The find the made crystal ball, it can go for now. Oh my god, that was Garland. Was that Garland? Yeah, okay, no, we, ne we need to keep this picture. <laughs> it's so nostalgic. Uh, let's just place it... Do we use this? Not really that much. Let's just put it here and this here, and we're fine. I like the colors of this room, but I'm not sure about the red wall anymore. Maybe let's just make all of it navy blue. Or maybe le let's make one wall just lighter a little bit. Just maybe like a lighter blue color or like lilac or this kind of turquoise. Um, it goes together with the bathroom really kinda. Or like teal. Geez, I don't really know. Maybe pink? That would be nice. Oh, maybe yellow. I kind of like that because it's in contrast. You know what? I think the computer could be in the other study. Oh, okay. There's a broken tile in here. Stock object remover, please. <laughs> Wait, maybe I will get the desk further away so that it doesn't disappear. Okay, yeah, th that, uh, that was just like a marked tile for something. It happened in this house plenty of times. Wait, you can't really go on this treadmill if this chair is here. Maybe let's put it here. And also there is a painting. Maybe let's put the painting here. Yeah, okay, that works. Okay, done. August's birthday is only a day away. Okay. He was born somewhere before noon, so that's when we will have his actual birthday, but uh, today, tonight, before going to bed, we will try for another baby. Oh, they are autonomously woohooing. Can you actually try for baby for me, please? Hello? Casual kiss? No, can you? No, they will not do that, okay. But you're next to the bed already. <laughs> Will I have to use the microwave again? <laughs> no, not this time! Feed him, please. The fridge is not blocked. Although it was a second ago. <laughs> Summer wants a party, and I think we can have a birthday party for August. She can invite her parents so that, she, that they um, see the kid. Okay. It's definitely not twins because we don't have space for them. Of that, I can be sure. Can you invite your dog? I mean, you definitely can. Oh, God. Uh, his name is Willie? Yeah. Willie Roseland, of course. So invite your so invite your parents and also maybe Sadie and Felicia and your best friend. Okay, that's too many people. Um no Felicia and no Sadie. Just invite the household. Your parents and Carol and the dog. Have I ever gotten a different cake than the orange one? The orange one matches the kitchen perfectly, so I always get the orange one. Hi there. Oh, the dog is here. Greet him. 
Hi. Okay, um, Naven, could you do the honors of showing us the face of this precious baby, August? Yay! <laughs> of course he's wearing a tuxedo. Well, we have plenty of baby clothes. This family is 12 generations at this point, so... Yeah, we have a lot of clothes. Aww! <laughs> Yay! We actually have dog stuff in this house still. So he is very welcome. Okay, Brittany, if you're already autonomously changing him, then also get him new clothes and looks. Oh my god, he looks like Naven with Summer's hair color and green eyes. <laughs> Wait, no, I'm not sure about the lips. The lips might be Summer's, actually. Okay, you should definitely have straight hair. Oh, that's so cute! Penny missed work? How did that happen? Well, okay. She was needed at the party, she had to make 52 servings of food. Um... Yeah. Carol... Um... That is... Oh, God. They have negative chemistry! Oh, man. I was sure that there was nothing happening there. Nothing going to happen there. Autumn wouldn't be jealous of him anyway, I don't think, because they are not in a relationship, so um, technically, you know, they're not married or anything. Oh, she, she wants to feed the toddler and she can't reach the... Well, he's not really that hungry. He's definitely more sleepy. Okay, who has... Well, maybe someone actually has the smart milk. Yeah, Naven, of course. We will need a lot of that. <laughs> Let's get him the milk. The sooner we teach him to walk, the better it will be in the future when we have two toddlers. Let's go. And... Hey, Felicia. And we're done. That was really fast. I'm glad. Okay. Can we have a redhead this time, please, for balance? Also, I would like to have a girl this time to name her June, actually. Okay, we have a blonde girl with blue eyes. I don't know, she has a different skin color, and we still have time to have red-haired babies. Maybe let's have two blondes for now. Also, I haven't checked what August's um, personality is. Ah, oh, it's crap, actually. <laughs> he will definitely be a fortune sim. Kind of a little bit similar to his dad's uncle, to his great uncle, I guess, um, in some ways. How did he become so grouchy? Oh my god. Maybe I will look into the new baby's uh, personality, actually. Okay, I will accept her for now and name her June. She was born later, and she is named a month that is before August. <laughs> that makes so much sense. And also there's two months of difference. Literally, like, there's two days of difference between the babies, so it would be so perfect if we had June 1st and then August. <laughs> but oh well. Oh my god, no. No, not so grouchy, not so serious. Why so serious? <laughs> okay, serious is fine, but grouchy, I can't. I can't. Especially from nice parents, when they get a, a grouchy baby, I can have one in five. But all the rest have to be either half and half or nice, at least a little bit. I wouldn't really mind having one firstborn boy and then four girls. That would be kind of cool, actually. It doesn't have to be boy, girl, boy, girl. It can just be boy, girl, girl, girl. Girl. <laughs> I kind of like the fact that she will actually be born in June, like for me. <laughs> for me, it's June. Exactly the fifth when I'm recording this. She is having so many boys right now. This is like the fourth one, I think. I just keep reloading. Okay, it's a girl finally. A bl oh, blonde but with dark blue eyes from Naven. Oh, oh, I like that. Okay, again, let's name her June. And let's hope that she is at least four points nice. Make selectable. Oh, she's max nice. Uh, does she have a copy? Uh, she is, like, their personalities aren't really that different. They have different zodiac signs, 
but the personalities only differ slightly. But she is very similar to Naven. She only has three fewer points than him in two traits altogether. So I think I'll take it. She will just be very similar to the parents when August is very different and he might be a little bit more problematic. Because somehow he got some kind of gene from his great uncle. <laughs> that was always problematic. <laughs> June Genesee. I kind of like how it sounds. Okay, make unselectable. And we need another room. <laughs> oh, okay. I haven't thought that ahead. Um, we have two studies. And actually some of the stuff from the workshop might go to the garage. Okay, you know what? I will think about this in between episodes, in between rotations, really, because it will be a while before I come back to this family. So that's it for this video. Now Summer will get a job and Naven will take care of both of the babies. And we will wait for the elders to go to have more babies. Uh, and I definitely need to find a room for the smaller one. They could technically be both in one room, but it's not a big room. So yeah, I will have to figure that out. So as always, thank you very much for watching. Subscribe and go to the video. And see you in the next one. Bye. You're back beneath the sun. Wishing I could write my name on it Will you call when you're back at school? I remember thinking I had you